Sorry if it's late, guys, but here we go. Chapter 1. Pippa McDonald blinked sleepily and stared around her unfamiliar room. For a moment, she didn't know where she was. She remembered going on, her, on vacation to the beach with her family, but this was their vacation home. The bed next to her was a huge blanket with a straw blanket and a horse-shaped headboard decorated in ribbons. And fast asleep in the big bed was a pony. <gasps> a princess pony. All, all at once, Pippa's memory flooded back. She had been vacation until two giant seahorses whisked her away to the beautiful island, Jabella. A magical world with talking ponies. No human had ever set foot there before. And time just existed in a bubble there. Pippa wouldn't be missed at home. And time was and for no time was passing in her own world. There she met Princess Stardust and learned that that Shabella was in grave danger. Eight golden horseshoes that used to hang on the stone wall in the courtyard. Once a year, the year the on Midsummer Day, the horses in. She was renewed by the sun, but if the horseshoes went missing and weren't returned by Midsummer Day, the ponies would die and Shabella would be gone. Mm. Pippa had been amazed to learn that she had been brought to Shabella to find the magic horseshoes yesterday after a long and exciting and dangerous search. She and her new friend, Princess Stardust, had rescued one of the horseshoes from the foothills of the spooky volcano. But there were still seven horseshoes to track down, and there were only five days left until midsummer. Quickly, Pippa got up and looked for her clothes. She hung them on the chair the night before, but now in their place was a new outfit, a white top covered with... Pink horseshoes and a pair of pink jod hoppers and some sandals. Brown, Pippa put the new clothes on and then borrowed one of Stardust's combs to untangle her dark, wavy hair. Stardust was still fast asleep. Wake up, lazy hooves, Pippa said, gently shaking her. Stardust yawned and her eyes opened. She then closed them again. There's no time for sleeping in. Pippa said, Shabella's still in danger. Oh, but I was having the most wonderful dream, Stardust neighed. I had a pet girl. She opened her eyes and sat up. It was true, she explained. I really do have a... Pippa scowled and crossed her arms over her chest. I mean, a special friend, Stardust said hurriedly. Today's a very special day. Let's get ready. Stardust went to her dressing table and combed her long white mane. Then Pippa placed Stardust's pink jeweled tiara onto her head between her ears. Pippa smiled. Adjusted the sparkling tear on the plate. Let's get going then, Stardust said excitedly. Stardust's room was atop of the eight tower in the stable side castle. They hurried down the tower spiral ramp to the ground floor, where they were heading towards the dining room for breakfast. When Stardust's big sister Crystal appeared in the opposite direction, Crystal had an apricot coat, an inky black mane and tail, and a white stripe running down her face. She was an extremely pretty pony and spent hours making sure she looked her best. Hurry up, 
She neighed impatiently. There's a family meeting in the courtyard. A family meeting about what? Pippa whispered to Stardust. We're always having family meetings, she said. I'm starving. Are you? What about breakfast? She called after Crystal. You should have thought about that while you were sleeping in, said it's a good thing that you're never going to be queen one day. With that, Crystal trotted into the courtyard for a, for a pony. Crystal's a real bitch. Pippa put her hand on Stardust's side. Don't mind her, she said. Big sisters just don't understand. She still treats me like I'm a fool, Stardust said said. She may have a bigger tiara, Pippa said smiling, but you have a human girl as your friend. Yes, I do, Stardust said smiling back and heading to her sister. Reaching the wooden door that opened onto the courtyard, Crystal stopped and turned around. It's royal family only, she said impatient importantly. You're this ugly girl should wait here. Pippa's my best friend, and she is not ugly. She's here to save Shabella, said Stardust. That makes her the same as family. Crystal rolled her eyes. You make me tired, she neighed, leading the way. Stardust and Pippa joined the royal ponies, gathered in the courtyard. Crystal and Prince Jet stood at attention, nudging each other for the best position to greet their mom and dad. Prince Comet had his nose behind a book. Honey was doing twirls to show up for glittery new hoof polish. White Cloud was mumbling grunt grumpily. Prince Storm walked in last, covered from head to hoof in mud, causing Crystal to snort angry. Storm, you could have took it washed. Oh my god! You look like you just trotted off the farm. I did, he replied. These spells won't plow themselves. Stop bickering, children, scolded Miss Steppel Chase, Chase the royal nanny. She pushed some of the ponies into an orderly line, ready to welcome the king and queen. I trust you all at breakfast and are ready for the royal games. Pippa's stomach grumbled noisily as she looked at Stardust in alarm. Games? she asked. But I thought we were going to look for the missing horseshoes. Was that your stomach? Mid Princess Stardust? Hmm. <laughs> Mrs. Stumble Chase acts angry, dipping her head inside her stomach. She. Brought an app, uh, brought out a shiny red apple and tossed it to Stardust, who caught in her mouth. She threw another apple to Pippa. Thank you, Pippa and Stardust said. Hmm. Mrs. Stumble Chase snorted. This don't be late for breakfast again. Pippa stared at the stone wall, where one lonely little horseshoe sparkled in the sun. There were still seven empty faces to fill. Suddenly, she didn't feel so hungry anymore. Stardust followed Pippa's gaze, gaze to the whispering mall. The royal games are very important, she started, but she was once to interrupt it as... The king and queen walked into the, the courtyard. As long as the royal... Royal ponies straighten up with their ears forward, their bowing their heads as they whinnied. Good morning, mother. Good morning, father. The queen looked up at the wall and then turned to address her children. The annual royal games are taking place today. Although Shabella is in danger, it's important that we keep our traditions. The whole island list will be willing for us to, for how to behave. If we panic about the mission horseshoes, then everyone's going to panic. Do you understand? The ponies nodded in choruses. Yes, mother. Stardust, P 
Pippa whispered. If the Mario games are so important, maybe I should look for the horseshoes on my own. Don't do that, Stardust said. You'll miss out on all the fun. There are so many great events. Dresses, dressage, show jumping, horseshoe tossing, polo, and a quest refund race around the entire island. Those games do sound amazing, said Pippa. They take place on the fields, explained Stardust, on the far side of Main Street. It's not too far from the beaches, so maybe we can look for them afterwards. Okay, Pippa said, feeling a little happier that Stardust wasn't completely forgetting about the horseshoes. We'll stick together, like best friends, Stardust said. Like best friends, Pippa agreed as she stroked the mare's soft mane. Queen Moonshine whispered something in her husband's ear and then turned and nodded at Pippa. Pippa flushed, her stomach did a cartwheel. She could only guess what the queen said. The royal ponies and the ponies of Chappelle were depend on her. We will find those missing horseshoes, she said determinedly.